Hi guys, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on IRC. Firstly, I don't use IRC that much myself, so I'm just going to go on and do this and hopefully everything's going to be alright. As I remember the first time when I did it, I had no idea what the hell was going on. So firstly, if you don't know what IRC is, it's an internet relay chat client, which basically means it's a chat program where you can join different chat servers and channels and stuff like that. It's used in ProMod to find wars and scrims against other teams or mixes and so on. Uh, currently there's two ways you can use IRC, firstly you can download the actual program and use it that way or there's also a web based version which it doesn't give as many options at all but it's a lot easier to set up and more user friendly I'll go over both of these and you can just choose which one you want to use so firstly if you want to use the program you firstly got to download MIRC so when Google loads you go straight to MIRC's website and download MIRC Pretty straightforward. And then once downloaded, obviously open it up and uh, install the program. Oh, one second. Basically, MRC is like, I'm not sure, I think it's a program you're supposed to pay for, but you can use it while not paying you just have to wait like 20 seconds and keep pressing continue which is what i have to do because i've used it for quite a while but when you do finally get in you'll come up to this standard setup so firstly you want to come to options up here this little hammer and whatever the hell that thing is and then put in your nickname so mine would just be that name email it doesn't have to be a real email it never is so once you've set that up then you come here to servers and what you want to be using is a server called QuakeNet which is what everything's hosted on so it's one of the most used ones so I think it starts up like default at the top here so then you just choose any one of these I don't think it really matters and you press select and then you press OK and come up to connect up here which is like a lightning bolt uh, starts with stuff up and then you've got MRC favorites and stuff. So this is where you put the channel that you uh, want to join in. There's quite a few that you use in COD4. You can come up here where this has this heart and the little hash button. So uh, firstly a channel you want to be joining if you're looking to get like scrims uh, against other teams or mixes with friends and so on. Then you want to be joining COD4.wars. Press join. And it comes into this which is the chat window here where people spam what they're looking for and stuff like that and then on the right you've got what people are in this channel and how many people are up here is shown 705 at the moment uh, for people who are wondering sometimes what these things says because if you're new for this and these might not make any sense whatsoever but as an example we've got this guy called Sam which says 3v3 so he's looking for a free on free so and then he's got high which is he stated the skill level that he thinks he is not always the case though off means that he doesn't have a server and one is just because he's spamming it loads same here five and five so looking for a five and five off doesn't have a server med skill and if you do want to uh, play against these, any of these people then you just right click their name and click query and then that brings up like a separate chat window where you type to them which I'm not going to do right now uh, Another thing I want to go over is you can do things like well you have separate channels, it's kind of hard to explain like the COD4 Pro Mod scene is split into like sections of uh, channels where people can get teams games against teams that are from similar skills so the highest one would be COD.invite or COD4.invite, then you've got COD.preinvite, then COD.academy and you need to like apply for all of these via Tech 9 and then be processed to get into them to play kit other teams that are in Academy. So it's all pretty confusing. I'll just give some links which basically explains it all. But there's a new channel what's just been started called COD.start, which is basically a channel where all you have to do is if you're a new team or a team at all and you want to start playing uh, games against other teams, you basically just have to uh, register at least on Tech 9 if you haven't already and then make an application where you have to put your guides of all five players and just some basic team history and all the players and stuff like that so pretty straightforward so I'll go over that in a minute but 
firstly, if you want to get in the channel like cod dot start, the problem is if you're not off authenticated authentication on QuakeNet, which is the server that you're using, then you can't. So to do this, you need to go, as it says here, to obtain an account, visit quakenet.get uh, Yeah, open link. This bit's pretty annoying, to be honest. Uh, that's where I usually get quite confused, but it's pretty straightforward if you know what you're doing. So firstly, you need to just read these instructions and you've got message, Q, hello, your email address, your email address. So basically, you just copy that. You go back into your MRC window and you type your email, you do message Q hello, then you write your email address and your email address again. And it'll basically send you an email with all the further instructions like um, you get like a password, temporary password and stuff like that. Um, so then you need to, once you do this, you'll have your password and you can use the auth command. So basically every time you need to come on RC, you need to auth your account. And you do this by doing typing or copying paste in this one in. Do it by copy and paste in message queue, blah blah blah, off, and then you do your username and password, which you'll set up and it will have all the details in the email. I'm not going to do it now because I obviously already have an account, so the instructions are pretty straightforward and you should be able to do that. So, um, once you've done that, then you can change your password. And you do that by again following all these stupid instructions which are pretty confusing. So I'll just try and off myself now as an example. This works. So basically once you are off, it will come up here, you are now logged in as your name. And uh, once you do apply for channels such as COD Start or COD Academy, once you progress as a team and you do get entered into these channels, you come up here and then I can get in them because I'm already off, so you've got COD Start, so uh, at the moment there's no one in there because it's literally just been done tonight. I have two of me because one of these is on the web-based one, which is this, so it looks pretty similar, just a lot less buttons and things you can do. Uh, another thing I'm going to go over in this while I'm on it is something called pickups or Vita Nova pickups. You do this by hash Vita Nova dot pickups. What this basically is is a channel which uh, allows you to play mixes against any other people that are also in this channel and want to play. Uh, for a list of commands, you type it's exclamation mark help, and it comes up with all the commands here that uh, you need. So if you want to join into a game, then you do exclamation mark add will put you into a list out of 10 people and you can obviously change your gun and stuff like that uh, which is like class sniper and I should be a sniper and I am so you also are pretty much required to go on TeamSpeak 3 which I think I'm already on at the moment which is this uh, once you come in here well you'll be given the uh, IP for when the game's full, all 10 beat players are in, or you can just do exclamation team so you can get the IP that way, like I've just done. I think once it's full, it also gives you the server you're supposed to join. So you can come in here, you get in the right attack or defense, it will tell you to go on, and you go on the server, um, but it tells you to go on. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. This is a good way to meet new people and start playing like more proper games instead of just public. Uh, <coughs> I think that's pretty much all you need for just the basics of the actual program of MIRC. Um, I will put links and stuff like that for about COD Start so you can read about it and see what's going on there. I'll just quickly go over the uh, web based version as well. As that won't take long because it's pretty simple. So, um, let's type in, I think you need to type in is QuakeNet Web Chat. And it comes up here, top link, and you have uh, next quote net nickname channels. So yeah, pretty simple. Uh, if you're going to join the channel like the Vita Nova pickups or COD Start, if you do eventually want to get into stuff like that, for COD Four that Wars you don't have to log in the north like I showed earlier. But once you do log in for Q, it will come up here, username, password. So again, type your stuff. 
that is not what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah. And then you've got like, again, card dot start, channels, no, what am I doing? Nickname, blah, 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 card dot start. And this one literally you just join and it puts you straight into the channels. What should do. Yeah. So card start there. One thing I haven't actually worked out how to do yet, and I probably should, is how the hell I... Actually, I think I do realize... I think I, if I do this, come in here and then do ju slash join Codboard at Wars. And there we go. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you join a new channel in this. So really, it's just a really dumbed down and easier version of the actual program. <clears throat> I probably prefer this over the other one, to be honest, because the other one just seems like so much hassle. But one thing you have to do is get yourself off, like I showed, and then you can get into, like, channels such as pickups and Codstar Academy things like that so yeah um, that's pretty much it for this I uh, hope you can actually make this work and start playing pickups and get your team into Codstar and stuff like that see ya